Hello everyone, welcome back. So let's do a second crystallographic direction example. As you can see, we have a much longer vector this time, and we're not starting at our origin. So you're like, whoa, every time it's going to start at the origin, it won't always start at the origin. So it's a bit more difficult. As a note here, um, it, just to help you visualize, this second dotted unit cell has a full unit cell. It's just it's gone halfway. And for any problem you see, um, usually it's going to be either at a half or a third. You won't see any fraction smaller than that if I don't specifically tell you where it lands. Okay, so how do we solve this? Well, first we find the point coordinates of the tail, sorry, tail and the tip. So let's do that. The tail, well, I moved a distance A along the x-axis. I moved a distance B over two on the y-axis. I moved a zero in the z. Okay, and for the head, well, I moved a distance negative a in the x's, x axis, a distance b in the y, and then distance c in the z. You can't have negative values here. So I found all those, now I subtract them and divide each by a, b, or c. So I've got negative a minus a, so that's negative 2a over a, well that becomes negative 2. You can have negative numbers. And then you have b minus b over 2, which is 1 half, B, and you divide that by B, okay, and then you have C minus 0 over C, so it becomes 1. So negative 2, 1 half, 1. We can't, however, have a fraction, so we have to multiply everything by 2. So multiply everything by 2 and put it in square brackets without commas. So I get negative 4, 1, 2. As a note, this little over bar right here, that is going to represent a negative index. And while on some like multiple choice problems you will see that over bar, um, when it comes to actually entering things, like you know, if I ask you for a particular direction, you'll just write a negative four, and there should always be a note about that. Now let's try one more example from this one. Okay, let's just let's erase all this. And let's try. I want to go from here. Okay. I'm gonna go all the way to there. Okay, this top corner to the middle of the top of the back unit cell. So let's clear off some space here and then we can go through it. So first off, what is this point coordinate of the tail? Well, I go a distance A and the X, okay, A. I go a distance B and the Y, okay, B. And then I go a distance Z, or zero and the C, okay. Now what's the point coordinates for this? Well, I go a distance negative a, okay, negative a, got it. I go a distance b over 2 and the y, okay, b over 2. And I go a distance c and the z, okay. Now I'm going to subtract those two. It's always head minus tail. So negative a minus a over a, well, let's be negative 2. And it's going to be b over 2 minus b over b, be negative one half, and then c minus zero over c, which would be one. I can't have a fraction, so I multiply everything by two. So I get negative four, one, two. So negative one, two. And if you're looking at this, I need to put it in square brackets. And I change every single negative one, and I put a bar over it if I can do this by hand. If you're doing this, um, in multiple choice problems, you'll have the option to choose it like this. Otherwise, it'll just give me a negative sign. And that's it. And once again, if we're considering that our atoms are only at corners of unit cells, that's not necessarily the case, they are only at corners of unit cells, this would be the distance I would have to go to actually hit another atom on that corner. So I go four in the A, one in the Y, and two in the Z. So, thanks for listening, and I hope this helps you. Let me see, I think that's everything for this time. Oh, I almost missed one. There's one other thing we didn't talk about right here. Goodness. It's the family of directions. The family of directions. Now, a family of directions is something you might have guessed, but you weren't necessarily certain of. I mean, it's saying that, like, well, yes, yes, this right here is a particular direction. However, there's a whole lot of different ways I could have this exact same thing, because are you to tell if they repeat? So honestly, you know, if I'm doing negative four, one, two, well, honestly, I would have 
you know, I could do the same exact thing in the reverse, which would simply be 4, negative 1, negative 2. And that would give me the exact same spot. And, you know, if I were to reverse any of these things, we'll say, let's say this is the y and this is the x, um, which doesn't work out perfectly, but just consider that. Well, I would be able to see atoms no matter which point direction I was pointing. I could have a lot of different directions which are equivalent to this. I would still hit an atom, it would still match up. So a family of directions is all directions that are crystallographically equivalent, which means they have the same atomic spacing, and it's indicated by indices in angle brackets. So right here, if I have a unit cell which is the same length on either side, so A is the same as B, which is the same as C, then if I'm just saying like, okay, well, this direction is my direction, that is simply one, zero, zero, well, that is equivalent to me pointing along any axis and also um, to me pointing in the negative directions because if all my sides are the same, that works. If one of my sides is not the same, then it would not be a crystallographic equivalent. So let's, let's actually do it this way. Um, I'll make this side right here B. Okay, so in this case, the Y direction would not be crystallographically equivalent because in the Y direction I have to go a distance B, which is maybe either greater or less than A. So that one would not be part of the family. And this one would not be part of the family. If I still had something else different, where I said, okay, well, this height is also going to be a different dimension, well, then this one would be part of the family, and neither would this be part of the family. So it's all depending on which sides of your unit cell are going to be the same as to what parts are in your family. Okay, so that should be it for now. And I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.